Hi, it's Pete Rolls. It's Joe Fury in the Star 2 Made Weather Center. Well, here we are, the height of the hurricane season, and wouldn't you know, we have got a big one taking shape out in the Atlantic. Lee, you're going to hear about Lee, Lee, Lee a lot over the course of the next week, because Lee is forecast by Saturday night to be a strong Category 4 hurricane just to the north of Puerto Rico. So it looks like the Virgin Islands of Puerto Rico are going to miss this storm, which would be great. And then the next thing is for it to miss us, because if it starts coming towards the East Coast and we don't get the front out of Canada and the high to come in like we did with Adalia to push it out to sea, then we've got big trouble next week. Uh, so stay tuned for the latest on Lee. For now, well, it's all about the, what we're calling the September scorcher, uh, the kind of weather we should have had in August this year in September. It's not good for the kids in school. It's not good for the sports teams outside. It's not good for anybody that works outside. Uh, so, yes, we're talking dangerous heat and humidity for the next couple of days. We've got the heat advisory in effect for the entire region, with the exception of the immediate shoreline, where it's even going to feel like it's in the 90s there as well. So find your favorite cool spot. Make sure the filters are changed in the air conditioner. Uh, make sure the thermostat's up a little bit. Watch out with the pets and, and making sure nobody gets caught inside a car. Hydrate. Lots of water. That's, uh, that's what's needed. Uh, in the water, look at this. Lee, 145 mile per hour sustained winds north of Puerto Rico Saturday night. So, obviously, the reason why we have great concerns for Lee and where it's going. For now, we're going with the heat advisory for much of the state. Right through Thursday, heat index between 95 and 104. Temperatures on the thermometer are back in the 90s uh, tomorrow. 80s right at the beaches. 70s going into Thursday morning, sweltering on Thursday. Late day thunder shower possible. Record highs in the mid 90s on Thursday inland. It feels like it's up near 100 inland and in the 90s at the coast as we go on through Wednesday and Thursday. So yeah, you, you gotta be careful out there and then Later Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's the same. It's the typical summer routine where you have the hazy, hot, humid weather with the late day shower thunderstorms. So we'll start entertaining those as well. But much of the days will be dry. We'll say low 70s tonight, low 90s tomorrow. Feels like it's up towards 100. 95 for record high. Record high is 93 back in 2015 for Thursday. So we're going for record highs in the thermometer. Feels like it's up and over 100 inland on Thursday. Uh, Friday, again, still up at over 90. Uh, the late day shower thunderstorm both Thursday and Friday. Better chance for showers and thunderstorms scattered about in the afternoon, Saturday and Sunday when we're back in the more seasonable low 80s. But look at that, even at the beaches, it's up at over 90. Uh, so, yeah, next week, 80. And of course, well, all eyes will be on Lee. Where is that going? Stay tuned. Gil, first thing, got to tune in Wednesday morning with the latest on the big heat and the big hurricane out in the Atlantic. Hope you're feeling well. Stay cool. Bye.